Well, this is the Texas Cornhole Show, and I'm here with Grant, and we're doing a, an interview today with Ryan and Mason Schrader. How are you guys? Good, good. Good. Just back from school, I hear. Did y'all knock y'all's homework out? Yep. No, you didn't. Uh, no yep. way. <laughs> is that right? Do you guys do your homework right away? Are you kidding me? Uh, I do. I get it done in study, y'all. Oh, oh, brilliant. Brilliant. That's what my oldest does. But my youngest just doesn't do it. And that tells me that he does do it. <laughs> but that's great, man. So you guys knock out your homework before you, your your evening starts. So you get it done before you practice. Is that right? Yeah. yeah. Man, good for you. What's your favorite subject? Um, mine is math. Mine's math, too. Oh, my goodness. You guys are going to conquer the world. Do you know what you want to be when you grow up? No. <laughs> is it a professional what? cornhole player? Uh, yes, I know what I want to be. <laughs> what do you want to be? Like study reptiles and stuff. Oh yeah. Yeah. All right. uh, entomologist? No. Heptomo. What is it? Do you know what it is? Herpetologist or something. Herpetologist. That's right. Yeah. Right on, man. There you go. That's do you have one. a? Do you have any pet reptiles? So you got one at home? Yeah, I got a crested gecko. Right on. What? So what's the hardest thing about taking care of a crested gecko? Cleaning the cage, probably. How often do you have to do it? Not very often. But once a week? No, like once, two months, maybe. Oh, geez, that's nothing. That's, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, cool. Um, so for those who don't know, Ryan Trader has already won uh, an Open, an ACL Open. You won Open number two. You were the singles champ beating Ryan Windsor. Uh, and you looked pretty dominant. Um, for what I can see, you play a block and roll game. And for mm -hmm. everybody in Texas... The bag he's throwing is basically a center greed. It's the fly uh, magic, magic carpet. Um, and it's the same materials as, as a uh, center greed. And you make that bag look amazing. Like you, it, it, for what I've seen, you're throwing a blocker roll game. Am I right about that? Yep. Or I, I have a good air mill sometimes and I shoot that once in a while. But for the main part, every game you go into, you want to put a block down and just play a roll game. Yep. Yeah, and it's working for you. You're making people struggle. <laughs> they're, <laughs> they're struggling, watching you block and roll over and over and over again. It must be tough. Yeah. Yeah, so you're also an ACL pro. You became an ACL pro last year, I think. Tell me about that. Like, what was the process, and how did you get in and become an ACL pro? Um. So I made it from open, open standings. I had to play, like, opens, regionals, local events and stuff and try and get as many points as possible. And I believe I finished out as number 23. And I think I was the second uh, highest non-pro that's under the age 18. So I made it from that. Nice. That's nice. right. Because ACL can only have a certain number of... Because of the gambling stuff. Pros I that believe. are minors, I believe. Do you know how many that is? Um, There was supposed to be eight. I believe they let somebody else in. I think it was Isabella Suprenant. And so there's like or nine or ten now. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Bella, at one point, we thought she retired. We won't talk too much about Bella, right? Because we don't know what's really going on with Bella. But yeah, she's still an ACL pro and we'll see if she competes this year. But, you know, I, I have to say that you, uh, Ellis and Soto, Sammy Soto, have got to be the three go to players for rookie of the year. Right. The three of you guys look. Yeah, I would say the solid. favorites. And you've played uh, Sammy before. I think you guys played it for the junior championships at Worlds. Mm -hmm. Um, have you played Jeremiah Ellis before? Um, no. No. Mm. Or do you I think Jeremiah's more just down the middle guy. So do you, when you when you're going into a game, do you want someone to block and roll with you? Or do you like it when someone's just a just a slider, just an air mailer? What do you like to play against? Um, I like when they just play my game, like try and roll and stuff. Oh, play dirty board with you? Yep. So you don't want someone to go hole for hole against you. That's kind of why you do block. I mean, I can go hole for hole, but I'd rather play dirty than just go in the hole. Right. Yeah. I'm the same way. So I get it. It's a lot more fun, right? Yeah. More entertaining. Keeps me in the game. All right. So we're going to go to some questions that were asked from our viewers. Uh, Jared Acton wants to know your strategy or mindset. Um, how has that changed from when you first started playing cornhole to now that you're playing against the best in the world as an ACL pro. How has your strategy changed? Um, 
Oh. When you first started out, were you just trying to get in the hole as much as you could? Or are you? Um, like yes, because I didn't. All I didn't have a roll when I first started. I only had an air mill and a slide shot. Okay, and then you started picking up on the roll shot, and that's kind of what you want to use against ACL pros. Yeah, yeah and that's what got me a lot better from that roll bag and the push. So, did you make a dedicated effort to take time to learn that roll bag, or did it come naturally? Um, I was practicing, just messing around, practicing with it. And it just somehow worked out. So I kept on doing it um, in practice. And then I um, used it in tournaments after I was really good at it. So when you were practicing that uh, roll bag, Mason, were you putting the pressure on them during, during y'all's practice sessions, learning the roll? Were you throwing against them? Were you When y'all uh, practice, I heard y'all play against yeah. each other, right? Yeah. So are you learning the roll shot too? Did you pick up on that? Did y'all kind of learn that together? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. So do you think your what do you think is your brother's best attributes as a cornhole player? As in, do you think he's a good long uh likes to play a long game? Do you think he's better when he just plays hole for hole? Do you like it when he blocks? What do you think he's best at? And vice versa. What uh Ryan, what do you think about your brother's cornhole game? Um, I think uh, he's at his best when he just goes in the hole. But um, when somebody dirties up the board, he can just roll over it. So, I mean, I'd typically say his hole for hole game. So it sounds like you both have all the shots because I haven't watched Mason play at all. So I don't really know what his uh, playing style is. Is it similar to yours? Yeah, yeah it's it's basically the same. Well, that kind of rolls into uh, Stephen Worley's question. He wants to know your practice regimen, um, like your preparation methods for like a big event or a small event. Um, and how do you stay focused and on point during big events? So that's, so that's a three-part question. So first of all, what's your practice regimen? How do you guys practice? I just, me, we just play against each other. We don't even, we don't try and do roll bags, push shots or air mills. Like individually, we just try and, play against each other and are you playing a 21 are you playing different kinds of games uh we play to 11 sometimes and then we play to 21 H and then sometimes sometimes it's we do like games where it's 20 to 20 and it's first to get a point yeah that's kind of like a skins game i think right i don't know if you guys have ever looked into skins but it's a pretty interesting way to play cornhole where all that matters is if you won the round doesn't matter how many points you get and so you get mm -hmm. points for every round you win um, so that's your practice regimen. And then like, do you have a certain preparation for right before a big event? Like, let's say you have your first, uh, your pro shootout coming up, right? It's going to be your first time competing in a pro shootout. Are you going to do something, um, in particular to prepare for that event? No, I'm just, I'm just going to practice more before a big event so I can like get ready for the big event. Yeah. I think the, pro, the pro shootout is the 10 round limited. Is that right? I think uh, it is. it's 12 round, I think. It's yeah, 12. 12 round now. So do you guys play against mm -hmm. each other? Are you going to go 12 rounds just to get used to that timing and that style of game? Maybe. Maybe. We pro we'll <laughs> probably practice it before we go to the pro national or pro shootout. Okay. And then the final part of uh, Steve's question was, how do you stay focused and on point during these huge long tournaments? Um, how do I stay focused and on point? Yeah, do you do anything just to keep your mind? You'll have a certain music you like listening to. Oh yeah, I, yeah. I, yeah, I just listen to my music and just try and lock in while I'm playing. What kind of music um, you listen to? Um, rap music. Oh yeah, I used to listen to like hits radio and stuff. So what's your what's your favorite rapper right now to listen to? Um, I don't really know. I'll probably say, I guess do Gunna. Do you have a song? Wait, Gunna. If you're going into a championship uh, game, what song are you turning on first? Um, I don't want to say it. It's got to say it. Man. <laughs> if you mean. Okay. All right. That's all you had to say. We got you now. All right. Another, go ahead. Or ambition for this cash. For okay. The cash. All right. You got a little swagger to you. I, I like, like it. it. I like <laughs> it. How about you, Mason? You got anything in particular that you like to listen to? Or do you listen to headphones when you play? Are you a headphones guy or no headphones? Uh, not really, but I do it sometimes. I listen to like rap. Like okay. I've been listening to Pooh Shiesty. 
Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna put all these in a playlist when I get back home and, and jam out to whatever you guys are listening to. All right, uh, Ryan B Bear wants to know what do you what are you looking at when you throw? He says it seems like you're looking down at the ground when you're when you're throwing the bag. Oh yeah, because um yeah, I go so far down it looks like I'm looking down at the ground. Yeah. But I all I'm just looking at the hole, trying to throw the bag in the hole. So even on a roll bag, you're looking at the hole. No, I'm looking at the front. I'm looking at his block and just trying to roll over it. Got it. So you're picking out a, a landing point for your bag. Does that yes. sound right? Mm -hmm. So when you're missing, is there anything you do to try to get you out of your, I guess, missing streak? Like, for example, <laughs> um, I if... try. Go ahead. You go ahead. I was gonna say, for example, if I feel like I'm throwing too hard i'll look at the front of the hole if i feel like i'm throwing too soft i'll specifically look at the back of the hole so what do you do to get out of your missing streaks um if i miss like a bag anywhere on the board i'll probably try and chase it for a push shot or collect right so if yeah. you're if you've missed a couple in a row now what are you trying to do to reset um i don't have anything really to reset i just Keep I'm throwing. just going to try and throw it in the same spot as I do all the time. All right. All right. Next up, <clears throat> Row Row. Okay. The Cornhole Express. Been throwing cornhole tournaments in the Dallas-Fort Worth area since I've been playing cornhole. Shout out to Row Row's Cornhole Express. He wants to know, uh, is there a cornhole player that you can't beat? Pro or non-pro? Who's the toughest opponent you have to face? Hmm. Uh, I'd probably say J Jacob Gore's really hard. He's good. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you know what? He's a rookie this year, isn't he? No, he's not no. a rookie. He was a pro yeah. last year, wasn't he? Uh, yeah. Yeah. So he's not. And another that. one, another one is probably one of your guys in Texas, Sammy Soto. Yeah. yeah. He's pretty good. He's all right. <laughs> yeah. He, he's all right. <laughs> he's all right. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Those are two really. So both of those are kids. So are there any like, no, so no, none of these grown men worry you, right? You're not too concerned about the old guys. No, no, I'm just <laughs> not worried about them. Love it. I love it. <laughs> um, yeah. So what about handling pressure? Is there anything that gets to you like recently at that world's competition or in that big open? Those were tense events. There was one that was a big televised mm -hmm. event and you're on that big stage the other one winning your first, I think that was your first open. Am I right about that? Mm -hmm. Number two? Uh, no, I went to the Rock Hill, the very first one. Wait, but the first one that you won. Oh, the, the first one I won, yes. That's okay. the second open. So those are two pretty high pressure events, a televised event on the main stage, and then again, mm -hmm. winning open, open singles. So um, how do you handle that pressure? Is there anything specific that you do to handle that amount of pressure? Do you even think about it? Yeah. No, I don't even think about it. I just try and lock in. And then I like a lot of pressure. So I like the crowd being big and just like getting pumped up on big shots and stuff. You like it? Yep. Helps get you focused. And if you want to experience a crowd, you come to Texas, man. Oh, he's a pro now. Oh, you can't come to Texas, <laughs> yeah. man. Stay home. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, I have a question. What do y'all do in y'all's free time outside of cornhole? Outside of school, if y'all just wanted to de-stress, y'all go play video games. Y'all go outside and throw a baseball. What do y'all do? Um, you go. I play. I play video games and I play baseball, like some catch. Okay. All right. What, what uh, video game y'all play? Uh, Fortnite. Uh, Call of Duty. Okay. Uh, well, Rocket League. Y'all need to stay off of Fortnite right now. It's the OG season. It's OG, and I'd season. hate to beat up on y'all. You know, I'll just <laughs> yeah. stay off. Dude, Fortnite's actually already, pretty popular in my house right now because that OG season it fired everybody up. Yeah, I got back on with my buddy. Yeah. It's been fun. It's but been uh, laggy. So that brings my next question, I guess. So what is more exciting when when y'all got y'all's first Fortnite win or your first cornhole tournament win? <laughs> what made y'all um, more happy? Um, my first cornhole win. Oh, come on, man. I still remember my first Fortnite, Fortnite win. Fortnite yeah, Fortnite there win. you go. That's the better answer right there. Are you guys on uh, PlayStation or Xbox? Xbox. 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 Okay, well, now I can't like y'all as much as I did. It's about the PlayStation, man. 
get off Xbox. Yeah, this is a uh, Roddy Franklin's question, by the way, was what what are your other hobbies? So Mason, you mentioned baseball. Uh, what position do you play? Oh, I play center field and pitcher. Nice. How long have you been playing? Um, like a really long time, probably for like seven six years. or seven years. Oh wow! So okay, What's your big tournament for the base big baseball tournament or big cornhole tournament? Which one are you going to go to? Baseball. Hey, that's baseball is a fun sport to get into. I mean, there's always going to be another cornhole tournament. Yeah, you can play cornhole when you're old like me, man. I can't get out there and play baseball. You know, yeah. you can always play cornhole. Um, so that's great. Good for you, man. Um, the next question. <laughs> All right. So first, I want to ask Mason, who's better, you or Ryan? Um, just say how you feel. By last night, I I smoked them. So there, we go. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. There we go. That's great, man. So, do you guys um like? Do you keep track? Do you have a, any kind of record keeping? Like, do you um, know how many games you've won over time? Um, so that cornhole DV thing, um, that's a great thing for me to show people how much better I am than Mason. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Cornell DB. That's right. CornellDB.com. That new website. Yeah. I think I, on singles, I think I was like eight and three. Okay. All right. So and then I beat him. I've beaten him this year like three or four times already. And he's beaten me once. So this is at the big tournaments, the big ACL tournaments. But, All right. So honestly, Mason, I didn't know you were that good. If you're beating him that many times, I mean, he's not shutting you up. That was, that was in like competitive level a couple or like a year ago. All right. I used, to be, I used to be insane. <laughs> yeah. What happened? I don't know. Got more sane? I just went for a little bit. I was in a rut. Yeah. And I broke my, I now broke, I'm at fracture my elbow. Oh, okay. By your throwing arm? Yeah. Oh, well, that's, he okay. did like, that he bad, did like man. three months ago. Oh, wow. How'd you fracture it? Uh-huh. Um, baseball from throwing. Oh, a lot of throwing. Yeah. Yeah. Did you try to curveball? Overdid it? Yeah. He threw 11 pitches. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Steven Scott wants to know, who hasn't he played that he's excited to face? So, Ryan, is there anybody that you haven't played yet that you really want to play? Um, <laughs> um I want to play. I want to play Jeremiah Ellis because he talks yeah. a lot of some back. <laughs> I'm looking forward yeah, to that. I, I want that. I want that smoke. All right. So <laughs> if you win that game, what's the first words out of your mouth? Um, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, you got to think about that because that's going to be a legendary moment. Um, too easy. Yeah, there you go. Ouch. See, just something simple, man. <laughs> All right. So, Ryan, at the end of the season, where do you believe you're going to finish? Are you going to be top three, top 10? Are you going for number one player in the ACL? Uh, my goal is to try and get top 10, but obviously I want to get number one. Yeah. Well, it looks really like a chance based on how the season started. So are you planning on going to all of the events? All yes. of the pro events? Yeah. All the pro events. And how does that work? Do you guys all travel as a family? Um, yep. so, sometimes we do. Mason has baseball some weekends during the nationals and shootouts. So he's going to have to skip some of those and go with my mom and then my dad will go with me. Okay. So it, there's only two of you? Yeah. So a family of four? Mm-hmm. Right on. All right. I have a question for you. So I am i don't like crossing the line. I'll just be honest about that. I think the line shouldn't be crossed. But I've noticed that you, I think that you've changed your footwork a little bit because of the new rule where you can't step both feet out of the box. Mm-hmm. Am I right about that? Have you changed your footwork or did you make a little change in your footwork to make sure that you don't uh, leave the box? Yes. Um, I was pra- I practiced in the basement before the season started and I was struggling super bad with my footwork. Like I was trying to get it planted, but I was like throwing it really short. So I kept on practicing for a while and then I just got good with it. So you just did all that by yourself in your basement, worked on your footwork to d- dial it in? Yep. Nobody helped you. Did you record it? I'm curious if you like took nope, a picture of yourself. I didn't record it. Nope. So in your basement, is it big enough to throw a bag? Like, is it 27 feet long? Do you have a full court? Yes. Yeah, it's 27 feet. Oh, nice. So you guys have a lit up basement that you can play in whenever you want? 
how, yep. Yep. how tall is the roof? Yeah. I, uh, eight or nine foot. Okay, so you're throwing low bags. That's probably why you throw slower bags. Slower bags with the roll. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Have you always thrown slow bags? Um, uh, I used to throw buffalo deadheads when I like before, like when I was like intermediate competitive. Okay. And then I just didn't really like the bags anymore. I just switched to fly bags. Okay. And you've always thrown something slower in the fly bags. Oh uh, yeah. So one of the questions that we've had on the show several times is for newer players, do you think they should throw slow bags or fast bags? What would you recommend to somebody starting it's out in cornhole? Medium. Um, for new players, I'd say um it just depends. I'd say fast bags to start, and then if they throw it too hard, they just get a new set of bags that are really slow. See, I say the opposite. I think that they they need to start off with slow bags so they can learn how to throw hard. So they can keep it on the board. Yeah. Well, that too, but learn how to throw hard because I feel like uh, when people start off with fast bags, they're not worried about having a flat bag. They're not worried about making a bag go left to right or right to left or any of the other stuff. They're just worried about mm -hmm. getting the bag to the hole and cornhole is a lot more than just throwing the bag to the hole. Mm -hmm. All right. So who is your pro partner this year? Um, Alex Hicks. Oh, baby goat. Yeah. That was your partner. Okay. So you had some questions about that. So when you when it comes to your cornhole partner, it can be a switch holio, it can be your pro partner, whatever it is. What do you want out of your partner? Do you want them to be talkative? Do you want them to be quiet? Do they? Do you want them to be your friend? Do you want them to block? Do you want them to slide? How do you? What do you want in a partner if you're to build your perfect partner? Um, I want them. I want to be good friends with them, and then I want him to talk a little bit, but not a lot where they're too cocky. And then um, I like when they play a dirty game, like rolls, air mills, blocks, and stuff. Okay. So you want you want them to be aggressive? Yeah. Not talk too much, but talk a little bit. Mm -hmm. Hey, man, I talk a lot. Some people think it's me being cocky. It's really because it's just a game to me. It's just I'm having a good time. Um, so I wouldn't be worried about the talkative stuff too much. And... Um, what else do you, you want him to be your friend outside of Cornhole, too? You want to go hang out with them after the tournament? Yep. So are you and Alex playing uh, Fortnite, Rocket League, Call of Duty together on Xbox? Oh, yeah. Um, we played Fortnite all Saturday this past weekend for like uh, 10 hours. Oh, man. I really think that's a great way to, you know, mind meld. Get no, it is. Level. 100%. Absolutely. Yeah. You guys are going to be deadly on the boards. That's great. All right, cool, man. So we're about out of the out of questions for the cornhole side of things. Where are we? About half an hour. So um, some of the random questions that we have on the show that we've asked people. Um, what's your favorite hamburger? Either one of you. Like, like favorite like place to get it from? Yes, yeah, like your you favorite, favorite hamburger. That's another question um, from bro, wherever it was Cornhole Express. Um, my dad's. Okay. Oh, the ones he makes? Yeah. Is All that, right, talk to me about it. I want to know every little detail about the way your dad makes a hamburger. Um, Big Patty makes, or Skinny? No, he makes uh, smash burgers. Oh, okay. The, yeah. On like a flat top or like on a charcoal grill? Oh, flat top. All right, he smashes them. Does it have like the thinly sliced onions? Or are you just putting your well, I mean, ketchup he, on my, Our dad eats the onions, but we none of us do. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. All right, so what do y'all put on y'all's burgers? I put uh, on I put on uh cheese and tomatoes and ketchup. Okay, Ryan. <laughs> I put nothing on it. I just put ketchup. Nothing wrong with that. That's no it. cheese though. Nope. Yeah, my middle kid just goes meat and bread. Doesn't want anything else. Meat and bread. All right, that's it. Okay, super plain. So both gotcha. of you guys are going. Dad's burgers are the best. Uh, yes, that and Steak and Shake. All right. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so what part of the country are you in? Um, well, we live in Illinois. Okay. That's the only time I've had a Steak and Shake, actually, was in St. Louis. Yeah, so, yeah. We, like, live really close to St. Louis, so we get Steak and Shake once in a while, like, once every year. Wish we could have it more, though. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty good the one time I had it. All right, so let's um 
let's talk about bags. So you're sponsored by Fly Cornhole, right? I'm friends mm-hmm. with Eric. Eric's great, who uh, runs Fly. Um, what's your, your your favorite bag for them is the Magic Carpet, which I've already said on the show is like uh, a center greed. So most of our listeners will know what that is. Do um, you want to talk about those bags a little bit? Um, they're, the speed on them is a four on the slow side and an eight on the fast side. And they roll pretty easily. And I, I like them a lot. Are they looser or are they fuller? Um, they're looser. They get pretty loose. The set that I have is uh, super hole friendly, right? Um, what other bags do they make that you like? I know they have a herringbone bag. And I know they have... Yeah. Have you thrown the Raven? Oh, uh, yes. What do you think of that bag? Um, I don't really like it. It just feels weird in my hand. And so it's the fill? Yeah. You don't really like? Yeah, this that carpet, I think, is really cool. So that is, uh, uh-huh. we were going to do the Jimmy. It's a very oh, similar okay. bag. Um, I like that carpet a lot, though. I don't know if you ever got to break down that carpet and see what its speed is. Um, but I think that carpet is pretty cool. What about the Banshee? Oh, it's a uh, six on the slow side, a nine on the fast side. And that's what that's my secondary bag. If I'm not liking my sticky bags, I, I'll just throw hole for hole with those bags you in mean. like an event. Yeah, because in junior singles, um, before I, what made me get on the broadcast was using Banshees. Oh, is that right? Yeah, hey, that bag yeah I use Magics on ESPN. So you said it was a six nine. Do you know any other bags that are similar to it? The Banshee? Um, the Surge. I believe it's a six eight. I believe. Okay. Well, I was wondering what the Banshee compares to, like other bags that might have similar materials. materials. Oh, pro snipers. Oh, it's a pro sniper bag. Okay, cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah, for TCL people, that's like a gambler. Okay. And your pride are. Okay. Yeah, those are money. Getting up there. Getting yeah. up there. So what uh what else y'all want to talk about? What else y'all got for us? Anything that's up in Illinois that us in Texas might not know about? Any big uh, Cornell, tournament? Cornell Central. What's so, that? It's like one of it's our venue, it's our new venue venue we have for our regionals. And they just made it like a month ago. Super cool. Is it like cornhole only? Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah, that's what we have yeah. in eight days. Yeah, it's um, it's like ten boards, and they have event events every single day this week. So if I was, and then they have regionals and stuff. So if I was to go up there for some cornhole, I need to look up cornhole coastal. Is what you said? Central. No, cornhole central. Cornhole central. Okay, I'll make sure to Mm -hmm. keep that on the list. I assume is it on Scoreholio or is it ACL? It's ACL. The the ACL app. Mm Hmm. Okay. So I think when we mentioned earlier, like, let's go Rangers, maybe I heard a groan. Are you guys not Rangers? <laughs> Everybody likes the Rangers, right? No, no. <laughs> no? <laughs> Wait, hold on. Between the Rangers and the Astros, who are you picking? I mean, I think, Rangers. I think. Okay. The Astros All right. There you go. <laughs> I think the Astros that would usually beat them. Yeah, the Astros will win. Yeah, though. by cheating. Not, not this year. Yeah, not winning <laughs> after they got caught cheating. <laughs> Actually, I, I was more excited about the Rangers beating the Astros than uh, winning the World Series, to be honest. That, really? Yeah, I was so like, I really wanted the Rangers to beat the Astros in that championship series. So um, actually, before the morning of game seven of that series, I almost didn't want to watch. I was actually nervous <clears throat> for a sporting event because I was afraid the Rangers might lose, which is a bizarre feeling. Like, I usually don't really care that much about sports. But I was actually like, oh, man, I really do hope they win or that they don't lose, you know? Yeah. Yeah. That was the most boring World Series. (laughs) I thought game game one was pretty amazing. Okay. Yeah, game one was a good game, but the other games were terrible. It was like blowouts. Yeah. Yeah. Welcome to Rangers, baby. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Yeah, I guess. I mean, for me, it wasn't awful because it was was pretty cool to watch. Although the last time the Rangers were in the World Series, they played – I assume you guys are uh, St. Louis fans. Cardinals, yeah. Yeah. Fries, right? He was the guy that mm-hmm. won it for him. Yeah. Or are you too young or you remember that? That was maybe 10 um, years ago. We went to a Cardinals game, uh, I think, when we were really young. We went to go watch a game when he was playing. And he's pretty good. 
Well, yeah. it's definitely pretty good. What about uh, I like hockey. That's my favorite live sport to go watch. Are you a, a hockey fan at all? You got the same. No. Um, we used to be. I, I we don't watch it at all anymore. Yeah, that's my favorite live sporting. I event. Just, yeah, oh. I just quit watching it after the Blues won the Stanley Cup. <laughs> okay, because they're not the best. So I heard y'all are cowboy fans. <laughs> No, Heck not no. that either. <laughs> <laughs> so just so you know, this place that we're sitting in, AJ's, we're like miles, like two, three, four miles away from where the Cowboys play and where the Rangers play. And then the Mavs and the Stars are about 15 minutes in the other direction. So uh, we're all pretty big, you know, Dallas sports fans, Dallas sports stand, the big, big D. Yeah. 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 There you go. Big mm-hmm. D stands for Dallas, by the way. Just so yep. you didn't know. Yeah. So, uh, Wait, is that what's on your shirt? Yeah, yep, big D. <laughs> yeah, that's his uh cornhole brand. He makes some bags. I make bags, yeah. And Grant's gonna wear my jersey at the next big tournament, it's gonna be great. I actually am. Oh, <laughs> what great timing, too, man. So, uh, what color jersey y'all want to see me wear? Y'all can choose. I'll let y'all choose right now. Um, either um, a pink or a yellow or like a lime color, pink or jersey. lime color. So you couldn't hook me up. <laughs> Are those your favorite or a colors? lime color? Are those your favorite no. colors? Are you no. just trying to no. wear something not cool? He's trying to make me lame. I got to be cooler than Sammy there. There, Come on, man. We could work with lime. I can work with lime. All right. We'll do it. All right. Actually, be gold. go be gold. Gold? There you go. <laughs> it never comes out right. Like, it's really hard to get gold to look good on a sublimated jersey. You can sort of get it with a gradient. But it just doesn't look right. Yeah, it doesn't look good on third place finish either. On my jersey, it does. It looks really good. Does it really? Yeah. Well, I guess you have those, that, you know, Fly's done a good job with their branding and and using gold. I have a, one of their hats, which I tried to wear today, but I forgot. Um, I think it's the same one you have on. Looks really good. There yeah. you go. Yeah, I've got one of those at home. Forgot it. So what's the next big tournament you're going to? Um. Uh, we have a regional this weekend, and then I believe Memphis Open is next weekend. That's open number three in Memphis. Is that right? Uh, no, four. Because Rhode Island's this weekend. Ah, okay, okay. And you're not going to go to that one. No. Nope. So you're you're going to a lot of opens. It sounds like like some pros are only going to the pro events, but you're making it to all as many opens as you can. That's what it sounds like. Mm-hmm. The closest ones possible. And How? Yeah. How close are they to you? What's the closest one to you? Um, I don't know. Uh, it's like four and a half. I don't know which one four it and is. Half hours. Okay, so um, you're at least having to go four and a half hours for a big event. Yeah. Okay, and how many regionals are near you? Are you, is it within thirty minutes to go to ACL regionals near you? Um, one regional is like thirty minutes, and then the other two are like an hour to three hours. Man. God drive on you, man. Yeah. Do you switch up your partners for the regional events? Do you like playing with different people or do you have someone pretty much locked in? I just have Alex pretty much locked in other than a couple other regionals. How did that pairing come about? How did you pair up with Alex? Um, so he reached out to me and was wanting to know who his partner was for next year. And I was like, I definitely want to play with baby goat. Yeah. So right? I, I said, I definitely said yes. Yeah. Are you guys the same age? Uh, yes. Awesome. He's a he throws BG bags, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. You guys have to find a compromise, I guess, in doubles. Have you found a BG bag that you're going to throw, or is he going to throw the magic? Or are you going to make a decision as the tournaments play out? Um, we have to throw BG in doubles. You do? Okay. What mm-hmm. uh, What's your favorite BG bag right now? Let me guess, Viking. No, uh, actually, yeah, but that's not what we throw. Wizards. I like that. Uh, yeah, we either wizard elves. Elves, and that stands for light. Mm-hmm. I've noticed that most of the high level players are going with the lighter bag, the thinner, mm-hmm. lighter bag. Um, why? Um, I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> Just feels good in your hand. I guess. Yeah, I guess so. But that seems to be where everybody's going is the the thinner, lighter bags. Mm-hmm. 
All righty. Well, I guess this will give you give you all y'all's time or any sponsors y'all want to shout out. Any people y'all want to shout out and thank? Go on ahead. Um, Fly Cornell, Bangarang, Dan and Baggin, um, Top Shooters, Barn Grill, uh, K9 Unit, Brooke, or we have two real estate agents, Brooke Michelle, and who else? K.O. Cornell, K.O. Cornell. Man, y'all just got a list, don't That's you? A lot. Uh, there's two more. Cornell Chemistry. Okay. And then there's one more. Um, I can't think. You can't let one be left <laughs> off. Come on, man. Yes, I left one off. Um, All right, it'll come to It'll come to me. It'll yeah. come to you, man. All right. And then what's your, out of all your sponsors, what sponsor you ha- is your like favorite, I guess, product? They have the best shirts or the best bags, like fly or best whatever. They have the best bags, obviously. And then I like their apparel is super, they have really good apparel because, yeah. Yeah. Do you like soft? And then I just thought, I just thought of my other sponsor. Okay. Who? KC Baggers. All right, there you KC go. KC Baggers. All right. Are you part of a cornhole region out there or a group? Um, not really. We just hang out with whoever. Oh yeah, y'all got you. Mm-hmm. You are the group, huh? No. I <laughs> good. <laughs> all right, man. Well, John, you got anything? No, I'm all good. Uh, guys, thanks so much for coming on the show. Really appreciate it. Um, tell your mom and dad thanks for helping us set this up. Uh, thanks a lot for coming on the show. We wish we wanted to get uh, you guys on the show because Ryan, you're clearly one of the best rookies out there, uh, new to the ACL scene. Uh, and a lot of people just don't know about you. So, uh, wanted to get you on here. So people in our area and people that watch the show can get to know you a little bit better. And I really appreciate it. And Mason, thanks, man. I didn't really know how good you were, but the fact that you're beating Ryan Mm -hmm. several times in big competitions is kind of a big deal. So thanks a lot for coming on the show, guys. I, I appreciate it. Yep, appreciate it, guys. I'll catch y'all on Fortnite later. If y'all see a KYR Mamba kill y'all, I'm sorry, man. That was me. Yeah, I'm a, I'm abomination ski. So, so all right. Until next time, appreciate y'all coming on. Thanks for having us on. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, thanks.